Okay, so let's continue. This is our, we ended with this slide kanina. So, lead yun sa our two, the root part. That's uh, where you can find the root canal. Okay, ito yung tinitira ng mga dentist. So, let's go to the pancreas. Okay? So, the pancreas is actually a pinkish gray organ. That's about 15 centimeters long. Or that's around 6 inches, no? And uh, they weigh approximately mga na sa 80 grams or nasa 5 ounces. Okay, the pancreas produces a wide spectrum of digestive enzyme that breaks all categories of food. So, siya kaya niya i-break whether it's a carbohydrate, a fat, or a, a protein. Okay, so the, the enzymes that's coming from the pancreas is secreted into the duodenum kasi embracing the du duodenum nga siya kanina. Okay, so uh, what are those enzymes? We have uh, those that digest your... Your uh, carbohydrate is your and sugars and the starch. No, these are the amylase, pancreatic amylase. Okay, but we also have the salivary amylase. Kanina, so ito continuation pa. So hindi pa na contento dun sa bibig pati dito pa sa intestine. Titirahin pa niya, titirahin pa natin ang carbohydrates with the aid of the enzymes produced by the pancreas. Okay, and then meron naman siyang lipases, lipase to break down the lipids. And then proteases, okay, to break down your um, mga proteins naman natin. So they break down the proteins. So examples of your proteases, you have your mga trypsin, chymotrypsin, no? carboxypeptidases. So if we count again, you have the word ASE at the end, so that's an enzyme. So they also produce an alkaline fluid introduced with enzymes uh, to neutralize the acidic chyme natin. Kasi paglabas ng food, galing sa loob ng chan, na, na mix siya with the hydrochloric acid. So, paglabas yan, acidic siya. So, babanatan na naman nila, tirahin na naman nila kasi acidic siya. So, bubuhusan nila, in-neutralize sa bubuhusan nila, ng, they will are uh, going to secrete in here an alkaline fluid together with those enzymes that is being released to to remove the acidity. Okay? So, the end could, uh, yan yung, yun yung function niya. So, in this case, you have also in here uh, other products of your endocrine, uh, which was discussed already last time sa ating uh, endocrine system is the insulin and the glucagon hormones. So, they aid in the metabolism of your uh, carbohydrates, uh, the, the sugar, no? so it, one increases and the other one decreases the sugar. So, how about the liver? The liver is the largest gland of the body. Most of the bulk is located on the right lobe. No? Kasi kita mo, triangle ang forma niyan. Triangle siya, pero uh, the, the bigger bulk is towards the, the lateral aspect that's located on the right upper quadrant. Okay, so uh, look at right side of the body under the diaphragm, so right upper quadrant. So that's below the diaphragm because they, they already belong to the, to the abdominal cavity. It has four lobes that is suspended from the diaphragm in the an abdominal wall by the falciform. So what holds them, that keeps them in, in place? is your falciform ligament. So this is the ligament that holds your organ in, in that area. So at underneath, at the bottom portion, yeah, it's a flat, flat portion ang ilalim niya, and that is connected to the gallbladder. And the, the, that is the, the gallbladder is connected to your liver through your hepatic duct, okay? To the hepatic duct. Yung liver natin, from the word hepa, so ang kanilang mga cells there is composed of hepatocytes. Hepatocytes, that's the name of the cells. Okay, and they are the, this is, this, these are the cells that produces the bile. So the liver produces the bile. Okay, but the bile is stored in the gallbladder. So um, they also have other type of cells, the Kuffer cells, the K-U-F-F-E-R, Kuffer cells. So these cells are, have different function. Kung si hepatocytes nagaproduce ng bile, si Kuffer cells naman, for protection. So they have phagocytic action. So your copper cells are phagocytic cells. Uh, they are they actually part, they are actually part of your of your monocytes, no? Uh, this is this uh, this is these are actually uh, macrophages that will engulf pathogens or debris or some damaged blood cell. But still they belong to the liver. So, ang nag-produce ng bile is the, the hepatocyte. Ang nag-produce ng ano, nung pang buffer na, pang ano, kontra natin sa mga sa mga uh, mga pathogens and other ano, is the cuffer cells. Okay? So, generally speaking, when you talk about the liver, uh, the function is for metabolic regulation. 
Okay, they also have, aside from metabolism, they also have a function on hematologic regulation. And of course, when you talk about the digestive system, we are talking about the bile production. Okay, so yan yung ating sa, ano, sa liver. So what about the bile? Ito yung produce ng liver. The, the bile is produced by the cells in the liver known as your hepatocytes. Anong meron sa bile? The bile is composed of bile salts, the bile pigment that is mostly beirubin, that's yellowish in color, or uh, coming from the breakdown of your hemoglobin. No? Hemo plus globin, so yung, yung, ano, yung, yung uh, products, no? Kaya nga, the rest, that's the one also responsible for the color of your fecal matter, the yellow and the brownish color, even your urine. They also contain cholesterol, they also contain phospholipids and electrolytes. Okay? So, the main digestive function of which is to produce the bile. Ngayon, sa anong kulay ng bile? Ang bile is actually uh, yung laman ng abdo. Yung laman ng abdo sa layman's term, no? Ilaman ng abdo. Uh, ano ko, ano bang nasabi yung abdo? Yun bang liquid niya? O yung, yung ano, the whole of it, di ba? Kasama yung kanyang laman? When you say abdo sa Bisaya? Ano ba yan? Sino kumakain mapapaitan sa inyo? Mga ganyan. So, this is the bile. Kaya mapait siya, no? So, it is a yellow to green in color. And it is watery. In, uh, what, it's a watery solution. Kaya lang, ah, uh, Yung bile na yun, they, they are being concentrated because the, the water is reabsorbed. Okay? The water is reabsorbed. So, it's a watery solution. Okay? Ang bile and honor. And the purpose of the bile, the, the function of the bile is for emulsification of fats. Para siyang sabon na para i-work out niya yung, i-work out niya yung, uh, yung mga fats para madaling matanggal. So, they, they, from a big fat layer, babaluti niya hanggang sa smaller fat. So, madali siya ma-work. Ma, 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 they can work on the fat or the lipid, lipids that is being ingested. So, ganun din yung ano. So, emulsification, that means to coat them into smaller particles before they're going to be broken down. Okay? So, among this one, itong composition niya, yung bile salts, okay, at saka yung phospholipid are the ones that helps in the digestion. The rest are just add-ons na siya. Okay? But these are all... Uh, what is found in your bile. Meron siyang bile salts, may pigment, may cholesterol, may phospholipid, at saka may electrolytes. Okay? Gallbladder, ito na yung abdo. No? Ang loob niya, ang laman niyan, bile. Okay? The sac that's found in the hollow fossa of the liver. Saan yung hollow fossa? Sabi ko nga sa base. Sa base ng fossa. So, if you're standing anatomical position, sa ilalim siya banda. So, it stores the bile from the liver by way of the cystic duct. So, yung bile na ginawa ng liver, it, ilalagay niya doon sa, sa gallbladder. O, dyan ka na. Nagawa na kami, dyan ka na muna. So, yung bile na yun, ilalabas yan siya kapag kumain kay ng fatty food because the bile is responsible for the breakdown of your fatty foods when you ingested some food. It's a green sack. Ang color nito is a green sack. Okay? Sa layman's term natin, tawag ito is the abdo. Okay? So, sabi ko nga kanina, what causes the concentration of uh, what makes the bile concentrated is because the gallbladder, okay, is actually absorbing the water portion of which. So, ang problema natin dito, kung sige ka-absorb, sige ka-absorb ng water, that makes the person prone to, kasi maging concentrated na siya masyado. So, that makes the person prone to develop your gallstones and that may cause the blockage. And as a result, they, they sometimes often, they remove the gallbladder. Okay? May mga operations tayo na where the gallbladder is being removed. We have the coli, cholecystectomy, meron tayong cholelithiasis, no? may, you may form store, uh, may mga formation, so so you remove the bile, as a, uh, the, the gallbladder as a result of that, inooperahan, inaalis yung bile. Ano naging yung problema nito ngayon? Kapag gano'n, tinatanggal kayo, tinatanggal lang kayo ng gallbladder because we all know the gallbladder stores your, it stores the uh, bile. So, ang tendency niyan, uh, and the bile is responsible for digestion, especially of the fats. So, ang mangyayari nito because they emulsify the fats, minsan you cannot tolerate any more fatty foods, fatty intake. If you have heard of people na ganun. Kaya they, they eat less of the fat is because they don't have the bile anymore. Because the bile is secreted, okay? Bile is introduced into the duodenum in the presence of a fatty food. 
Eh, kung wala ka ng gallbladder, asa na i-store si ga, asa i-store si bile. So wala. Okay? So magiging issue sa inyo ang digestion of fats here. Okay? So we have been processes of the digestive system. We have been ingestion. Eh, may say ingestion, it's just simply kaon ka. You take in food into your mouth. Then propulsion is you move the food from one region to another hanggang ma 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 makadaan siya sa buong alimentary canal. Okay? So that's propulsion. And the movement is known as your peristalsis or peristaltic movement. Okay? So ito yung nangyayari natin. So we have our we have our longitudinal muscles and the circular muscles. So processes of the digestive system, we have the peristalsis. So alternating waves of contraction. Ito siya kanina. So paano na uurong? Because they contract, it propels the food to this direction going downwards. And then ito, ito siya nag-contract kayo na ngayon, lower tide. Ito naman siya, dababa naman siya hanggang sa natutulak, natutulak at natutulak yung kanyang food. How about other way? The segmentation, moving materials back and forth to aid in the mixing. You may notice may empty siya. They move, they give only halfway, halfway tapos imimix na naman ulit and then ililipat naman sa next na 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 portion ng intestine. So makita mo dito, they 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 propel it by segment by segment. Hindi nila bibigay o oh, iyon na lahat yan. Sige, ito muna yan anuhin mo. Sige, durugin mo na yan. Okay, kana tapos kana. So ito na naman o oh, durugin mo ito. So that's how that's how segmentation would uh would occur. So that's moving the materials back and forth that so that it will aid in mixing. Okay, that's so we have two ways uh yung segmentation portion by portion at the same time tinutulak natin siya towards the as it passes through so along the length of our alimentary canal okay so another is your mechanical digestion so we say mechanical digestion parang machinery lang uh, mixing of food by the mouth in the tongue so sa 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 bibig natin okay we mix the food how because the tongue also moves at the same time we start to grind it we digest, uh, we, we grind it using our the teeth, no? Dinudurog siya ng mga ipin natin, pinapalit to smaller particles. And then, the, nadudurog siya, naiipon siya, nag, nagamit siya sa bibig pa lang. And then, pagdating sa stomach, okay? The stomach has three layers. So, they move, they're circular, di ba? Meron tayong longitudinal, may circular layer, plus meron pa tayong oblique. So, they move the, they move the, the, the content or the food that is taken. there will be uh, mixing talaga siya. So, that's a churning of food in the stomach. And padating naman sa, sa intestine, segmentation. Kasi little by little, nagapass siya doon. Slowly, just like what happens in this slide. Okay? Portion by portion. O sige, ito na naman. O, no, ito na naman. So, that's how it, that's how the uh, mechanical digestion occurs, no? In, in its area. Okay? So, basically, we say mechanical digestion, that's just simply talking about breaking it down into smaller particles. Niliit-liit na talaga natin. Kasi pag niliit mo siya, that's, that's, when you can get, that's when you can get the nutrients. Because what we need is the nutrients so that it can be absorbed into the circulation and be distributed to the different parts of the body, to different cells, different tissues. Okay? How about the chemical digestion? Of course, it uses some substances. Kanina, machinery lang. Ito parang gagasulinahan mo. Okay, so your chemical digestion, we have in here the enzymes that break down the food molecules into their building blocks. So building blocks, halimbawa, you cannot, you cannot absorb carbohydrate, but what you absorb is the glucose. So it has to be, it, it has to be broken down from a complex sugar to a probably disaccharide and disaccharide to monosaccharides. Okay, simple sugar. Kasi hindi siya nakapasok, hindi siya nagagamit ng katawati kung bigger sugar siya. Dapat smaller particles siya. Okay. So, you have to understand different type of food groups uses different enzymes. Kasi hindi siya effective. Kung baga, ang enzymes natin, specific-specific. It's like sa car. You don't, you don't use uh, diesel lahat. May iba may gamit ng diesel. Iba kung magamit ng unleaded. Iba kung magamit with lead. No. So, iba-iba ang ginagamit. Kasi depende sa sakyan mo. Kung anong kailangan. So, yun yung, yung, ganun din yung style nating chemical digestion. Okay? So, uh, when we say carbohydrates, is broken into simple sugar. So, like for example, your disaccharide, we have three types, the maltose, lactose, and the sucrose. So, we have different enzymes also. They use maltase for the maltose, lactase for the lactose, sucrase for the sucrose to break down into smaller sugar. Okay? 
And then for fat breakdown, sa protein naman, they, they have to break it down into amino acids para mag may use up ng body. And for your fats, we have that the fats broken into fatty acids and alcohol. And the alcohol in here is known as the glycerol. The alcohol content in here is known as the glycerol. That's the alcohol coming from your fat. Okay, so kanya-kanya tayong forte. Kung baga may kanya-kanyang specialty for the chemical digestion. Hindi pwedeng one, one master serves all. So, you have different masters in here. Magkaiba siya. So, we have also another uh, digestive process. Absorption. Okay? The absorption that uh, the end product of digestion are absorbed in the blood. Uh, they also passes through the lymph for screening. Because that everybody must go into the circulation. And we, we, we have learned already that one. So, the food must enter first the mucosal cell. Kasi nandoon yung mga... Yan doon yung sila yung nasa lining ng ating mga bilay, di ba? And then, sa likod doon, nandoon si mga blood vessels at saka lymph capillaries. So, dadaan muna sila sa mucosal cells and then into the blood and then the lymph capillaries where they're being absorbed, okay? And then, uh, remember that the major site of absorption is the small intestine. So, that's the small intestine. Okay, how about defecation? Whatever is not digested, Elimination of indigestible substance as feces. So defecation is the process of uh, excreting. Defecation is the process whereas the the product that is being excreted out is your is called feces. Feces. We always use this term for time. We don't use pagkaharap ng mga pasyente natin. Pero sa hospital tayo, we use the feces. Okay? But when you talk to the patient, do not tell them, Ma'am, naka-defecate na po kayo? Oh. Okay, di mo magkasinabot. Just tell them, Ma'am, nakalibang na mo? O Ma'am, malibang ka, Ma'am, kaya mo kolekta kang tae. So, yan. We have klaro tayo. Pero pag sa atin mga medical, ano, we use the word defecation. Okay? Okay, so here's a picture of the digestive process. So, in your mouth, you, you ingest food through your mouth. And then eventually, in the mouth, uh, the, within the, the, along the length, we have uh, digestive process, no? Chewing through the actions of the mouth. Okay? And then it passes to the pharynx and to esophagus, no? And then, but things are stomach, okay? So, your safari sa kasi esophagus, we have your, uh, of course, mag start ka muna sa swallow, sa so pharynx, and then uh, it will be propelled to your propulsion through, uh, to the peristaltic movement, no? Esophagus down to your stomach. But things are stomach, of course, they will have the churning actions to co continuously uh, digest the food that you have taken in. And at the same time, there will still be segmentation pa dating dudurugin pa siya lalo pa dating sa small intestine. So, as they pass it through it, they will be propelled. The food will be propelled through a proportion, propulsion with the peristaltic movement. Then eventually, as they pass along the, uh, along the uh, length of your small intestine, it will start to do absorption of the nutrients until they have fully absorbed at the, once they reach the terminal end of your small intestine at may ilium banda. So, because they, that is also lined, uh, inside is lined with your uh, blood vessel and the lymphatic vessel. Okay, and then eventually what is not digested will be uh, propelled into your large intestine and will be, will be excited out during defecation. Okay, so your, your digestive activity is mostly controlled by reflexes, reflex via the sympathetic division again sympathetic ha, because your sympathetic is considered to be the rest and digest division unlike the sympathetic the paras the, the parasympathetic is the rest and digest the sympathetic is during emergency fight or flight tigid mo ka kakao na talo wala agad ang digestion niyo yan okay kaya minsan after when we are already relaxed after emergency hindi ka kakafil ng gutom wala lahat bakit kasi ano eh Iba ang, iba ang concentration natin, okay? Epinephrine is high, so iba naging response natin. But eventually, after that, you go back to the parasympathetic na naman na, ano, you have already rested, ma-feel magigutom ka, ayo ko. It's because you go back to this, to this, to the activity, the usual activity of your digestive system, okay? So when we say reflexes, we're actually referring to uh, reflexes that will trigger the glands, no? Okay, chemical and, chemi chemical and mechanical receptors are located in the organ was that triggers the reflexes. So these are the ones that will trigger, not only trigger, they can also inhibit okay, the glands okay, that secretes the enzyme. 
or the chemicals that is necessary for digestion. So again, it's not only a, a, a stimulate digestion, they, see, they secrete this one, but they also inhibit okay, the response. So pag inhibit siya, mabagal yung mga mixing at saka propelling action of food sa digestive tract. So kung kung stimulate naman siya, mas ma mas may enhance ang ating digestion. Okay? So control of digestive activity. We have uh, the stimulus is the stress of the organ. Kasi ibig sabihin na stress may laman. So magano siya? Magtrabaho siya, may laman. Trabaho na tayo. Okay? And of course the pH of the content. Okay? and the presence of a breakdown products. Okay? So, these are the stimulus. Pag may pagkain, may laman, may stretch, at the same time, yung pH ng content, they will stimulate the, your, your, uh, your digestive activity. And the, ref, the uh, reflexes would include activation, sabi ko nga, or inhibition of the glandular secretions, and of course, include the smooth muscle activity because this is something automatic. We cannot control this one. Automatic siya. Siya automatic adjust depending on the situation. Okay? And of course, your mechanical breakdown is the physical uh, breakdown of your food through the action of chewing. Okay? The food, uh, basically, it starts with chewing. And then, padating sa lower portion. Uh, ito, sa mouth paman tayo. O sa mouth, ang ano dito is chewing. Wala mga ibang, sa, so only uh, action dito para ma-breakdown ma, ma mo siya is chewing. Padating sa, sa, ano, sa chemical digestion, yung pagkain hinaluan natin ng saliba, and then, dito mag-start na rin tayo ng digestion of the carbohydrate. So, break mo ang starch uh, into maltose by salivary amylase. May amylase na tayo sa kanila sa pancreas, di ba sabi ko? So, dito salivary amylase para sa ating sa chemical digestion. That occurs in the mouth. This one occurs in the mouth. Okay? So, sa pharynx at sa pagos, anong, anong role nila? Wala. Daanan lang sila. They just propel the food. Daan na lang sila. Basta siguraduhin mo lang pati sa pharynx na hindi siya but sa channel papunta doon sa larynx. Kundi, tukan. Ma-aspirate. So, yun lang, sa, yun lang ang role niya. That's why when you swallow, the epiglottis, uh, the, the larynx is pushed upward, closing the epiglottis so that the food will not enter the, the glottis, no? the, the larynx. Kaya yun lang siya. Basta pag dinaanan siya, kailangan siguraduhin lang natin na nasa tamang daanan siya. Esophagus. Okay? So, they, they just serve as a passageway papunta sa stomach. So, let's talk about deglutition. Deglutition is a term for swallowing. Okay? We have different phases in it. The buccal phase, okay, that is uh, considered to be voluntary. So, by the way, so deglutition reflex or swallowing are the same. The, so, when we say, when we say, you, you swallow, when you take in the first phase, the buccal phase, meaning to say it's in the mouth, Okay, that occurs in the mouth. Bacal is actually the cheek. That's referring to the cheek, no? So, bacal is, uh, sa, sa may sa loob ng bibig natin, that occurs in the mouth. They just call it the bacal. And then, so, they, they, this one occurs in the mouth. And this is voluntary because you will decide if you chew or not. Kaya yung mga bata, yung mga bata, they will stop chewing pag tulog ang tok sila. Ayaw nilang kumain. So, makita mo yung mga bata pag pinipilit nyo kumain tapos katulogon, hindi ginamuusap. Nakita mo na habang nakatutulog, may pagkain. Kaya mabuti huwag niyong pilitin kung tulog, katulogon. Kaya dili sila, basing matukan pa sila. Because this is voluntary. Okay? The food is formed into a bolus. Okay? So, bolus. And the bolus is forced into the pharynx by the tongue. Okay? So, when we have in here, when we have in here, uh, bolus, no? So, ano nga dito? Before you swallow it, okay? Before you swallow it, the food must be in the correct texture and consistency. Ginaliman kag mukaon ka o uh, sabihin natin adobong manok, hindi mo pagingoya yung ano, gilunok mo diretso, ambot lang, kung say kadangatan ni manok, kung lungot ko, so, it has to be digested, broken down into the correct consistency and correct texture. Okay? So, yung, yung pagkain natin, they're being shredded, they're being torn by nagipin and then haluan siya ng ng laway no lagyan siya ng laway and then bakit ka lang siya haluan ng laway para uh, maglambot siya madali siya ma-digest at the same time uh, madali siyang ma-sense ng ating mga taste receptors natin and then what happens sabi natin yung tang iko-compact niya ipit-ipit niya ipa-pound niya yung 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 food uh, how how is it 
done, itutulak niya against the against the palate. So until they form a mass, maliit na mass, and that's the time you will swallow. And that's that's what we mean by bolus. Yung mass na yun is known as the bolus. Yung gikompak-kompak, gidurog mo, giipit, at sya gi... 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 It's known as the bolus. Okay? So again, it's consciously controlled because it's voluntary. Okay? So what happens in here? Since that is consciously controlled, the, the, the tongue is going to retract. So pag nag-retract si tongue, matutulak si, si, si bolus papunta sa pharynx. At the same time, uh mag elevate si si uh soft palate no para hindi uh, si soft palate that is si si larynx para hindi makapasok doon sa 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 larynx at the same time i elevate ganin doon sa may itutulak niya papunta doon sa may soft palate para hindi niya siya umatras papunta doon sa nasopharynx Okay, so yun yung yun yung role ng ng ating tang na the constantly constantly uh you consciously you break it down and you try to form into a bolus. Kaya so dalawa, kapag tinutulak mo siya against the pag tinutulak mo siya against the soft palate, iniingatan mo na hindi siya pumasok doon sa nasopharynx. Okay? Another step is the pharyngeal esophageal phase. Okay? So let's talk about the pharyngeal lang muna. Okay? So pharyngeal esophageal phase, this one is involuntary transport. Pas once you swallow it, it becomes involuntary. All the passageway except for the stomach are blocked. Yung tongue, the blocks of the mouth. Para hindi, okay? The blocks of the mouth. And then, the, yung, yung palate natin. So, palate blocks the nasal pharynx. Okay? That's at the, tip, uh, the tip of which is the uvula. And the epiglottis blocks the larynx. So, ito. Ang, ano ang open lang? Yung stomach lang open. Para ito hindi nila pasukin ng food. Okay? That's the pharyngeal phase. Okay? So, the bolus comes in contact with the sensory receptors around the pharynx. Propel na yan siya doon, hinay-hinay. Okay? Then, how about the esophageal? Okay, so the peristalsis moves the bolus towards the stomach. When your 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 bolus have already reached the esophagus, so peristaltic contractions of the muscles of the esophagus will just propel the food going towards the the, sto the stomach. Parating sa stomach, okay, yung bolus mo na pinadaan doon, magkakatok siya doon sa cardioesophageal sphincter natin. So pag katok niya, okay, open door please, kasi papasok kami so your cardioesophageal sphincter is going to open and the, as the food presses against the sphincter. So, baka kapasok si food because you've swallowed something in. Okay, so, we have in here, ito yung bolus ng food, okay, in the mouth, and then you swallow it, it passes to the pharynx, and then it goes into the esophagus in here. Okay, so that's your swallowing. How about the food breakdown in the stomach? So, we have to take note that the gastric juice is regulated by neural and hormonal factors. Okay. The presence of food or falling pH causes the release of gas. In case I mentioned it kanina, the, depending on the pH, that is also a stimulus, no? Para mag-produce tayo ng gastric ano natin. So, the gastrin causes the stomach glands to produce protein-digesting enzymes. And the hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid makes the stomach contains very acidic. Okay? When we say, when we say neural factors, okay, regulated by neural hormones factors, uh, it stimulates our, our senses, like the smell and the taste. So that's neural. Okay? You like the taste. Okay? So note that the body produces, when you talk about uh, gastric juices, okay? It, it produces around 2 to 3 liters of gastric juice per day. How about the hydrochloric acid? Ano naman hydrochloric acid? Okay? So your hydrochloric acid may possibly make your mucosal lining thin, causing ulcer ulceration. Okay? So, importante na, while, while there is, the hydrochloric acid is secreted, the mucous membrane should also secrete the alkaline fluid so that your, 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 your stomach lining will be protected from this hydrochloric acid. Okay? So, it can also erode kapag hindi magtrabaho. So, if one, 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 um, one, the mucous, uh, cells, they will not produce the mucus that is alkalinic, alkaline in nature. 
it will cause erosion plus the movement of your the uh, the different muscles there so magrarab talaga siya para sa protection it has uh, the the mucous cells should should be functional in this case okay what is the use of your acidic acid in the stomach bakit kailangan talaga may acid okay your acid extremely acid environment in the stomach activates pepsinogen Okay, sabi ko nga, when we mix, when we, pepsinogen added to the hydrochloric acid, it will convert your pepsinogen to your pepsin for protein digestion. Okay, kung hindi, useless siya. But, kaya lang talaga, isa sa, isa sa pinaka-importante dito is when you, when you, uh, when you, when you take in something, whatever microorganisms, they, they acidic uh, environment is hostile for the microorganisms. Kaya nga, misan sinasabi na may mga joke kayo, ayaw taong tunla inyong plema kay makaupaw. So, some people would say, ah, tunla na. Kaya ganun yung mga secretion we talk about respiratory. Yung mga propel, kung, kung, kung hindi siya, kung may mga sinusitis na kayo, it, it will drip outside. But normally, yung mga secretions natin from the nose, pupunta lang sa likod. Kasi once you swallow it, pup, ay, they, they will be acted upon by the hydrochloric acid. But in this case, in this case, katulad yung iswallow mo yung plema, you're lucky because you have the hydrochloric acid to act on it. Okay, minsan malakas. But there are some that, that really, uh, ano no, nakakalusot yan. Kaya, kaya minsan, we really discourage that one. But at least, yung mga, we, we just have it as a joke. Okay? Na ayaw na utun lang kayo makaupaw. But uh, whatever is taken in, it they will be acted upon by your acidic and, uh, uh, environment of the stomach with the presence of your hydrochloric acid. Okay? We have digestion and absorption of, in the stomach. Okay? So, protein digestion is through your pepsin. That's an active protein digesting enzyme. And Reni na mentioned ko tanika, this is just for the babies, ha, yung Reni natin kanina. So, they work on digesting milk protein. Ma'am, bakit nasali si Reni sa nat, nat? Kasi di ba, ang intake ng mga babies, milk, milk, milk lang lahat. So, they, they produce a, a renin, an enzyme that is known as renin para hindi ma-overwhelm ang kanyang ibang digestive system. Hindi pwede kasi... Ano siya, liquid na siya dati. Ano pang dudurugin mo doon? So, they have to form a milk curd para pag-exit niya sa, sa, sa stomach, hindi ka agad sabay-sabay sirit lahat doon yung, 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 yung gatas. So, dahan-dahan siya mag-exit because nag-form siya, nagkumpul-kumpul siya. That's why you would notice when the, first, when the baby regurgitates or ikaw na mag do I, you would notice na ang gatas niya is may buo-buo. That's because of the effect of the renin. Okay? Nagkaroon ng milk curd. Kung para siyang itsura ng gatas na nasira na nagbuo-buo makita mo yung pag-iniwan mo under sa isang mainit na panahon so that's that's how uh, the renin works okay okay walang absorption sa stomach pero sabi dito may absorption kumbaga ito siya yung padrino natin meron parang pin palang Pilipinas lang nakakalusot kasi may connection ka the only absorption that of course in the stomach is absorption of alcohol and aspirin so we have to be very careful when taking in aspirin because the aspirin is uh, they causes bleeding. Nakaka cause ito ng bleeding. Kaya be careful about this one. Okay, so so again, wala dapat absorption, but when you take in alcohol and aspirin, they are being absorbed in the stomach. Okay, dun palang they can be absorbed. And kasi may may mga kone, may ano siya, meron siyang uh, tawag yan, kumbaga nakakalusot ito sila, absorbed to sila. But normally, absorption starts at the uh, small intestine. So this is the what happens in the stomach. The food must first be well mixed, okay, and then we have in here the rippling peristalsis occurs in the stomach. So you would notice, pag pasok nyan, mapupuno siya, but eventually, parating sa may pylorus nya, kino control nila yung palabas, dahan dahan ang pag exit ng food. Okay, as the food enters the into into the stomach, the muscle will start to do their job. That's always the case. Manarbaho na yung mga muscle natin. They start to mix the food well. Hanggang sa, hanggang sa magkaroon ng uh, single consistency na isa. Pareho na sa similar consistency lahat ng, ng part. Para kayo nag-bake ng cake, na, nag, uh, ginamix din yung mga ingredients. So hanggang sa pare-pareho na lahat ang itsura niya. You, you, you try to fold it. You try to, ano pa yung mga ginagawa mo? Ginaikot, gina, ano basta... Depende sa iba-ibang system ng mixing it. Basta hinalo mo hanggang sa magiging isa na lang ang kanyang itsura. Okay? Uniform ang kanyang consistency. So, you mix them in all direction. Okay? Hanggang sa uniform ng itsura niya, ang, ang consistency niya. So, pagdating dito sa may distal portion ng stomach, sa may pylorus natin, 
Okay? Dahan-dahan na siya. So, slow na ang pag-release dito. Dahan-dahan. They don't release them as a bulk. Dahan-dahan na siya. Kaya may antrum tayo na para makontrol yung pagdaan doon ng mga, ano, ng mga food. Okay? So, making, making it slow sa distal portion ang paglabas niya. Dito, okay lang lahat. Lahat lang luluin para tindito na portion. Nagiging slow ang kanyang movement. Okay? So, the pylorus meters out the chime into a small in, into the small intestine how only 30 ml at a time what's 30 ml you get you get the medicine glass that's 30 ml lagi mo lang tubig kung gaano kalagay yung tubig yung magkasya doon yun lang so yun lang eh, from at, at a time ang gina-release niya gina-release niya kaya 30 ml at a time na ang nilalabas niya so bakit bakit ma'am bakit ganito kaliit they, we don't want to uh, overwhelm the duodenum. Arong dili makuratan si duodenum, no? So, we don't want to overwhelm the duodenum. So, dahan-dahan. So, it's the pyloric sphincter that controls the exit of this food. Kaya dahil 30 ml lang siya at a time, kung nag kayo, nag-abot na lang kayo, nag-bupay kayo ng alas 10 ng umaga, sugod na mukuan kayo, pwede mulugi sa inyong bayad. Nag-alas 7 lang ng gabi, wak pa muna human. Kasi 30 ml, ito ang dikain ninyo, apat na litro ng pagkain. So, palagay nyo, kailan maubos yung apat na litro kung 30 ml lang ang nare-release from time to time. So, they usually, the normal meal, you, you, your stomach is empty by 4 to 6 hours. Kaya, kaya kayo, kung we, we eat at 6 a.m., we eat at 12, we eat again, sometimes may mga in-between snacks tayo, and then, sa gabi. But eventually, kaya sinasabi, fasting natin, we have to eat the breakfast because it's the break, you have to break the fasting period because the last meal is at dinner. Unless mahilig kayo ng mga 6 meals a day na hanggang alas 12 ng gabi. No? So, how about the chest in the small intestine? The enzymes in here, okay, uh, from the uh, enzymes from the brush border, they break the double sugars into simple sugar. Ito na yung disaccharides, no? And then they, com uh, they also complete the protein digestion. They complete the protein digestion so that they get start already the, the absorption process. So the pancreatic enzymes play the major digest major digestive function. Okay? So they help complete digestion of starch because they secrete the pancreatic enzymes. So the mesalivary tai kanina and uh, amylase, okay, pancreatic amylase. So they carry out about half of all the protein digestion galing sa pancreatic enzyme. Okay? So very important ang role ng ating pancreas for protein digestion. Okay? So uh, we have to remember sa, sa stomach, ang nadadigest doon is carbohydrate and protein. Pero padating sa small intestine, they start to digest the fat and the nucleic acid. Why? Because they, uh, they begin only in the uh, small intestine, yung mga fatty intake natin. So complete digestion occurs as they pass through the, the small intestine. Okay, dahan-dahan na bang ano, gina, gina break down, they continue to work on it, the digestion. At the same time, habang nagandaan sila doon, hanggang makaabot sila sa end of the ano, uh, absorption is also taking place. Kaya mangyari doon, at when they, when, they, when they reach the end of the small intestine, na-absorb na rin at the same time. Kasi gina-digest sa same time, gina-absorb yung mga, mga products of uh, digestion natin. Okay. Pancreatic enzymes play a major role. Okay? So, anong gina-release niya? Fat digestion, they secrete lipase. Okay? Nucleic acid, nucleases. You know, this ASE at the end. ASE. Okay? Nucleic, so nucleases. Okay, still remember them. Because the fat is from the lipid, and so therefore, so lipase. So, and also, your, your alkaline in here, content, neutralizes the acidic chime coming from your pancreas. Okay? So, secretions from the pancreas, produce, uh, say natin, acid, uh, ano siya, basic nga siya. So, they produce a bicarbonate, no? That's alkaline in nature. So, it will neutralize your, your acidic time natin. Na-mention na ito kanina. So, ano, ang, anong, pinag, anong, anong point nito, ma'am? Your stomach contains acid. Your intestine contains, contains, ang, ang base naman dun sa stomach is sa lining na naman para hindi ma-erode yung lining ng ating, ang mucosa lining natin ng stomach. Pero sa, sa base, sa, sa intestine, it's basic. So, ano ito? When we talk about metabolic acidosis, usually, kung magsigi ka suka, you will be uh, removing from your body a lot of acids because galing sa stomach. Okay? You will remove a lot of acid. So, kukulangin ka ng acid, what will happen? Your body will develop 
high levels, uh, you, you become alkaline in nature. So you develop metabolic alkalosis. However, on the other end naman, kapag sige kakalibanga, you will be losing a lot of uh, base, a lot of alkaline. So what happens, you, 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 you have a tendency to develop metabolic acidosis. So kailangan talaga, andyan yung, uh, meron tayong, meron tayong stomach uh, acids from the stomach and we also have, para neutral lahat ng ano natin, nasa normal level tayo. Okay? So, so ito yung binabantay natin when you develop uh, when you develop um, diarrhea and ano, so diarrhea and si suka-suka. By the way, what happens to the peristalsis kapag may diarrhea? Ibig sabihin, di ba, pag diarrhea, watery ang stool. Ma'am, paano nangyari? Di ba, sabi sa, sa large intestine na na-absorb na, ang, na absorb na ang tawag niyan, ang 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 water para nagkaroon tayo ng form ng feces. So, ang nangyari dito, so, dito is na na mabilis ba siya ng pagdaan niya? Dapat slow motion pagdaan niya. Dung mabilis ang pagdaan niya, so, wala siya na, nasuyop. Kung baga, hindi active ang iyong intestine. Uy, lampas naman ito, naka, nakalusot naman. So, nakalusot si water, kaya watery ang stool natin. So, that's what happens. The peristalsis can rinig nyo minsan ng yung, yung, yung channel nyo na nagkakutoy, nagagalaw, nagaano siya because hyperactive, hyperactive, the word is hyperactive uh, peristaltic movement, intestine natin. Okay? Si stimulation of the release of the pancreatic juice, you also have in here the vagus turb and some hormones, cyclotine and cholecystokinin. Okay? So, the stimulation of the vagus turb in here causes the release of your pancreatic juice. And the weak contraction of the gallbladder. Okay? So, yung chine na nagapasok sa ating ano, uh, duodenum, it causes the duodenal mucosa cells to release the, uh, uh, the secretin as well as the cholecystokinin itong dalawa. Okay? Ang cholecystokinin at secretin, they will enter the bloodstream. Okay? At the same time, upon reaching the, the pancreas, no? Okay? The, the cholecystokinin, Okay, induces the secretion of the enzyme which pancreatic to secretin. So, kung may cholecystokinin kayo, it can also stimulate the release of your the release of your uh, cholecystokinin. Okay? So, uh, as well as the uh, pag 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 nagproduce pag, si so cholecystokinin, gi stimulate niya si secretin na lumabas. Si secretin naman magproduce siya ng bicarbonate uh, na pancreatic ano. Okay, at the same time, your secretin causes the liver to secrete more bile para mas maano, para ma, ma, mag mag-act on your on your mga uh, tawag niyan mag-act on your fat for fat digestion. Okay? So the cholecystokinin is basically stimulates the gallbladder to release the stored bile in here. So ito lang yung ano niya, yung flow ng ating digestion. Pancreatic juice. Okay? Small intestine absorption. Sabi nga natin, malakas absorption doon. So, water is absorbed along the length of the small intestine. Okay? The end product of digestions. Okay? Uh, most substances are absorbed by active transport through cell membranes. Okay? So, active transport ang process. Okay? Uh, about sa lipid, it is absorbed by diffusion. It is absorbed by diffusion. Okay? So, substances are transported to the liver by the the hepatic portal vein or by the lymph. I think we have, from the intestine, we have already discussed this one last time, sa circulatory, the hepatic circulation natin. Okay? So that's how absorption would take place. So dahan-dahan as they pass through, they, be, they, they are slowly absorbed. Peristalsis is the major means of moving uh, the food. I was thinking about, actually, I was thinking about the, hindi ko maalala yung pangalan ng disease na nagkakaroon ng paralysis of this uh, itong mga itong intestine where in there is no movement kaya na natatrap na doon yung mga product of digestion natin inside hindi ko maalala yung, yung term for that okay peristalsis is the major means of moving the food kaya the sa movement so the segmental movements they they will allow mixing of the chyme with the digestive tube and also they aid in the propel in propelling the food. So, ito yung na-mention to kanina. So, this is the effect of your segmental movements. Food breakdown and absorption in the large intestine. Sa large intestine, wala nang enzyme na produce. Pero anong meron doon? May mga normal residence tayo. 
yung mga bacteria doon. They are the ones that produce the vitamin K and vitamin B. And they also release the gases. Kaya the water and the vitamin K and the B are being absorbed eh, while the remaining materials are eliminated by the feces. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na binibigyan natin kasi wala pang normal flora yung, yung bata. Kaya, kaya ito ang mangyayari. So, magbigyan siya ng vitamin K. Okay? Propulsion in the large intestine. There is a, uh, when you propel food from within the large intestine, as it passes through, mabagal. There's a sluggish peristalsis. Mabagal siya. Kaya sinasabi ko, pag may diarrhea kayo, mabilis, hyperactive. Usually, dapat normally is mabagal. Okay? Mass movement. Okay? It's slow. It's a powerful movement. They occur three to four times per day. So, dahan-dahan. Three to four times a day. So, your mass movement as well as, or shall we say, peristalsis also, is through the haustral contraction. Yung haustral, yung parang bulog, yung parang sabi ko yung suriso kanina. Okay? When we say uh, it's slow, it's because uh, the movement occurs for about one, min one, one only uh, one minute for every 30 minutes. Okay? One, one, one movement for every 30 minutes. Okay? So, paunti-unti lang talaga siya. Uh, for every 30 minutes, may, may one minute lang siya na nagagalaw. The rest is parang mabagal siya. So, not necessarily nag-stop good siya. But the thing is, ganun kabagal. It takes time for them. Kaya, kasi kung hindi siya ganun kabagal, hindi sana nakailang beses ka nagtai sa isang araw. So, ito yung peristaltic movement na sipirang usapan natin. Kaya minsan, when you when you have a record of your food intake, that will give an idea. Mabilis ba ako mag-ano? Magtataka kay merong mga, mga may, mga, may mga sudyante akong perte kaslim. As in, payat, appeal na sila sa mga cheer dance, cheer dance. Yeah, Mag-duty mag kami, magsabi, ma'am, ma'am, excuse ako, ma'am, asa day ka. Kung mag every after meal, nasaan siya? Nasa CR. Pero kung pakainin mo, Grabe. Kadami ng intake. Mag-aala ako na sus. Maipakano. Kaya dagang kaya ginakaan. Wadyo kay, wadyo kay control, control. Pero slim masyado siya. Kasi ang, ang kanyang metabolism is very fast. Every after meal, nagapupo. Sa paning ba't? So wala, so, wala ka lang maging maritain siguro dyan. Ilalabas mo naman siguro. So parang ganun yung dating sa kanya. Mabilis yung kanyang movement. Dapat normally sluggish for sa kanya. Ganun lang yung kanyang movement. Siguro nandito siya sa 3 to 4 times per day. Yung mass movement niya. Okay. As they move, they, they are being moved uh, to facilitate. When they move, they, they also facilitate absorption, reabsorption of water. Okay? Presence of feces in the rectum causes defecation reflex. Okay? Sa, sa rectum, normally it's empty. Yung sa may distal portion next to the anus. So normally it's empty. Okay? Kaya kapag meron ka lang nilagay doon na laman, yung, yung feces, no, fecal matter na nandoon. So it is going to cause the urge to defecate is going to stimulate the defecation reflex. So what will happen is that your your sphincter is already relaxed, the in internal. Kaya lang meron ka pang external anal sphincter that, that is voluntary in nature. So you can still hold on to that feces until such time when it is right for it to be uh, to be expelled out. Okay, so eto, so it is the presence of your fecal matter in the rectum that will that will uh, stimulate the uh, evacuation or your defecation. Okay, so this ends our discussion.